I'm going to be making some breakfast, getting a workout in, meal prepping for the day. And I'm actually going to be featuring a recipe from my Keto for the Holidays ebook. I need a little bit more fat, I need a little bit more protein. And here is the physique update. About this bathing suit is from Cupshe. I do have a link below for a discount, but here is my current physique. I'm at the very beginning of this keto program. Now I'm going to show you guys my weight. That is what we are working with. I am five foot seven and a half. Weighing in at 156.4. This is my heaviest I've ever weighed, but I wanted to show you guys what I weigh just so you can get a gauge of what that looks like. So, again, this is what I'm working with. I am okay with my size. I just want to drop a little bit of body fat. So, stay tuned for the rest of this video where I'm going to share what I'm going to be meal prepping, as well as how I flexible diet everything else for the day. So I'm going to be making some breakfast, getting a workout in, I'm gonna be meal prepping for the day, and I'm actually going to be featuring a recipe from my Keto for the Holidays ebook. It's available on Amazon for only $2.99. It is my favorite recipe. It is a cream cheese dill salmon. So I'm gonna be showing you guys that. I wrote up my meal plan last night so I could show you guys what I'm going to make today. And I have to make one adjustment because I ran out of avocado, so I'm going to tweak my meal plan and macros and I will be back to show you guys what I'm making. But first, coffee. So I was in the middle of writing my meal plan last night and I realized I'm out of avocado. So I'm gonna have to sub this out in my breakfast to make sure I hit all of my protein, carbs, and fat for the day. I have everything else I'm gonna make here, but I'm a little bit short, so as of right now, I need a little bit more fat, I need a little bit more protein. So with that type of ratio, I think I'm just gonna add a little extra bacon and retweak the macros and take it from there. So I just retweaked my macros. I got my fats within two grams. My proteins are within 6 grams. I'm at 17 net carbs. I need 20. So I'm in good shape for the most part. This happens sometimes, guys. And it happens sometimes where you just may run out of something. And as a result, I just tweaked my menu, tweaked my macros to make sure that I can make everything fit. And it's really important to do this on keto because some people think like, oh, well, I'm just going to eat more fat in general and I'm just going to eat less carbs in general. But... If you really want to have targeted progress and results to really truly make sure you are in fat burning mode and your body is utilizing ketones for fuel, you need to be exacting in that. So that's what I did. It was really easy adjustment. And I'm going to show you guys my breakfast. I'm going to show you guys my food prep. And I made my food prep really simple today because um, I really don't want to be eating out today. I bought all this food that I want to make and I want to show you guys this recipe because I'm really excited about it. So like I said, I get three slices of bacon today. I make an extra for the family, but you can definitely see it's easy to scale up. So someone else wants their breakfast too. Okay. Alright, so we got some dog food and some bacon grease, which he smells. Come on, sit. Sit puppy. Only thing they love bacon grease on their food. Sit. Speak. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Happy puppies. Breakfast is served, and breakfast isn't done until you Insta that ish. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I just put it on my stories. There it is. 
and you can see my puppy. Right guys, we are going to make my cream cheese dill salmon. So let's do this. Need a food processor. Have my cream cheese that has been softening. So I'm gonna take four ounces of it and put it in my food processor along with five cloves of garlic, third cup of dill. I'm gonna smear it all over my fresh salmon and take it from there. Mm. So you can get a feel for what this looks like. So this is extremely tasty and delicious. I'm gonna blend it a little bit longer. I'm gonna add some Himalayan sea salt, pepper, and some crushed red pepper to make it spicy. Alright, so this is what it looks like going into the oven. It tastes better than it looks if you can imagine. Cream cheese, dill, the spice from the pepper, salt pepper. So simple and delicious. I'm gonna wrap this up and bake it. Weighing out my Brussels sprouts. I get to have four ounces, two ounces per meal. So this is four ounces. So I'm gonna get to have half of this. And for each portion, I have to put two tablespoons of olive oil on each half portion. So I have to add four tablespoons of olive oil to all of this. So I will be using Cassandrinos Extra Virgin Olive Oil. You can save 10% off with promo code GAGEGIRL off of Cassandrinos.com. And this is what I'm going to use to help me get in the rest of my fat macros. This is great for those of you who can't have dairy. It is certified organic. It is a very high quality olive oil, so you definitely wanna check this out. All right, so please note that I measured the Brussels sprouts raw. And what I did was, I like to kind of pick them apart like this. It just gives them a little bit more volume. I like them when they're like really leafy like this because I'm gonna saute these in olive oil and I can make them like crispier. So I like it when they're like really leafy like this. Now I can roast them in the oven, but I'm just gonna saute them in the skillet really quickly. And again, this is four ounces of Brussels sprouts. What I've calculated is I'm gonna actually have two ounces of this per meal, and it's gonna come with four ounces of the salmon. Each two ounces is, is going to get two tablespoons of olive oil, so I'm gonna use a total of four tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna be simple with my seasonings. I'm just gonna put a little bit of crushed red pepper and just a touch of salt. So I set this to broil after I took the foil off. Let's see what it's looking like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Creamy amazingness. So now what's left, I'm gonna let this cool off a moment, but I'm gonna portion out my other two meals of the day. So you guys saw what I had for breakfast. The only other macros that I'm including is my coffee, which has the heavy whipping cream in it. So I have that, the coffee, and then I'm gonna have two more meals to hit my macro goals for the day. All right, so I just teared my scale with the Brussels sprouts and the Tupperware on it. I need a four ounce piece of salmon. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to cut a piece, hope I come close. That is at 5.5 ounces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a smaller piece in my other container. So that's 5.5 ounces. That means I have eight ounces that I get to have for the rest of my two meals. So I'm gonna put the balance in my other container. All right, so I got it balanced out. Here is what the rest of my meals look like for the day. And I'm my hampy camper. If that ever happens, you guys, you can always just make sure you balance out your macros for the full day. So I'm really excited about this. If you want this recipe and more, please check out my Keto for the Holidays ebook, even though it's a holiday, 
There's still tons of great ideas. So I'm really excited about these meals and I will be bringing you guys more content. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.